We have trading Kapanen back to Pittsburgh for more than we got for Kessel. Does anyone have trading Kapanen back to Pittsburgh for more than we got for Kessel? Oh, bingo, bingo, I got it, bingo. That's right. Following the Leafs' disappointing exit from the 2019-2020 playoffs and the Penguins' disappointing exit from the playoffs, Kyle Dubas has responded by trading Kasperi Kapanen, Jesper Lindgren, and Pontus Auberg, kind of Auberg heading to the KHL next year. Those three players to the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for a 2020 first round pick, the Penguins 2020 first round pick, which is 15th overall, Evan Rodriguez, 20 year old Swedish prospect, Philip Hollander, and David Warsofsky. Now, first off, Back in 2015, the Leafs traded a package of Phil Kessel and then some other non-NHL players to the Penguins and in return got a 30th overall pick, Kasperi Kapanen, and some other pieces like Scott Harrington who they didn't really use. Now the Leafs, for Kasperi Kapanen, five years later, get a higher first round pick by 15 spots. What? This trade, first off, right off the bat, looks like a pretty solid fleecing done by Kyle Dubas on Jim Rutherford. Kasperi Kapanen has been a full-time regular for the Leafs for about two and a half seasons now. His best year came last year in 2018-19 when he had 20 goals and 44 points. This year was a bit of a down step with 13 goals and 36 points, but that was only in 69 games as the season was cut short due to COVID. But he's now 24 years old and was a 22nd overall pick by the Penguins in 2014. So the fact that we now, knowing what he has become, or knowing about what type of player he is, he is a 20 goal scorer, second, third line guy, to trade him and get a 15th overall pick for that is quite amazing. Jesper Lindgren is a 23 year old defense prospect for Leafs. We're not sure if he's gonna make the NHL right now. It's not looking like that's where his career is heading. So not really a major loss for the Leafs in that department. And Pontus Alberg, as I said, he's going to the KHL next year. He's, he's a throw-in so that the roster spaces add up for both teams. The Leafs get first round pick in 2020, this upcoming draft, which is going to be 15th overall. Fantastic. We didn't have a first round pick after the Marlowe trade. Now we get one back. Yes, it's down two spots. But I think at the time, the cap space need for the Marlowe deal was a necessary move to make. And now we get a first overall pick back along with some other pieces. So... This is a fantastic move for the Leafs, especially given the value that first round picks have. Evan Rodriguez is a interesting player. On the Leafs stacked offense, I don't really see him being a major contributor. Also, he's an RFA this year after making $2 million last year. So it is questionable as to whether or not the Leafs are actually going to re-sign him. The Leafs might have just picked him up to let him walk or they might hold on to him to use in the bottom six he did have 29 points in 2018-19 with the Buffalo Sabres so he definitely is a guy who can play in the NHL might have some value there we also have Philip Hollander who he's a guy with some potential I'm not gonna lie he was a second round pick in 2018 and a lot of people are probably overhyping him because he's a young prospect who just got traded to the Leafs which is something that tends to happen a lot he was one of the Penguins higher ranked prospects this past season he definitely can be a guy in the NHL he's playing in the Swedish League right now and putting up solid numbers there he could be a third line center at some point probably around there but right now, we just don't really know. I'd imagine that the Leafs will probably want to convince him to come to the Marlies and the AHL because they like to keep their prospects playing with the Marlies and getting used to the system. So I think we're going to need to see him with the Marlies for a year before he can fully make a decision as to what exactly he is going to be for the Leafs long term. And the final piece of the trade, David Morsovsky, 30-year-old defenseman, has made several NHL appearances. I think he's up around 50 something. Spread out over multiple years across multiple teams. He's pretty much a career AHL guy. Good veteran presence to add with the Marlies. Another defenseman that you could potentially call up at some point if you need another defenseman. Just guy basically. But with a number of young defensemen on the Marlies, it's good to have a veteran presence down there on the back end. Overall, I did not see this level of return coming back from Kasperi Kapanen, especially not this level of 
futures in return for Kasperi Kapanen. And yes, he's just really Hollander in the first round pick, but a 15th overall pick for Kasperi Kapanen. Are you kidding me? For comparison, Eric Carlson was a 15th overall pick. There have been some very, very good players that have been 15th overall picks. This could go very, very well for the Leafs if they decide to keep the pick or they could trade it and pick up a defenseman. Especially now that Kapanen's $3.2 million cap hit is off the books for the Leafs. They now have a bit of room to sign new defensemen as CeCe's coming off, as Barry's coming off. There's like 10 plus million dollars of cap space there to sign defenders. So definitely room for the Leafs to do things now, especially with Kapanen's contract gone. And Kapanen, I love the guy. He had so much potential, a history of scoring big goals. That double OT goal against Washington in 2017 will be remembered forever. That was one of the greatest Leafs moments I have ever seen. One of the greatest untainted Leafs moments I have ever seen. And now he's going to go to Pittsburgh and yeah, haha, the old joke. Oh, he's going to go play with Crosby and Malkin and score 40 goals. I mean, no, probably not going to happen there, but he is going to be a very useful piece for the Penguins. Cause great penalty kill guy, super fast, has 20 plus goal ability. Unfortunately on the Leafs, with our offense being as stacked as it was, he just didn't really get the opportunities. And when he did get the opportunities, he just didn't seem to have it figured out to be able to elevate his level. I can definitely see him being a useful piece for the Penguins, but with how much money the Leafs were spending on their offense, spending 3.2 million on a guy who, yeah, can score 20 goals, but maybe isn't always gonna score 20 goals, isn't really the right call. And like, as Ilya Mikheyev showed this year, you can get guys like that for a million bucks from other places. So Kapanen was just a victim of making too much money. I think his year two seasons ago, his 20 goal, 44 point year, was a little too good for his own good to stay with the Leafs. And now he's gonna go back to Pittsburgh, back to the team that drafted him, and he's definitely going to make an impact. But given the return that the Leafs got, I am perfectly happy with that. I think that a first round pick is just what the doctor ordered for the Leafs this year. And hopefully they can either draft well with it or turn it into a right shot defenseman. So there you have it. That's my view on the Kapanen trade. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this trade. And as always, if you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more of my stuff, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below in the description. And I will see you next time.